Hello, you beautiful people. As per usual, welcome back to more esports talk. Obviously, the title guy is a big talking point out there. Made aware by Richard Lewis last night. Also brought to us by the Hollywood Reporter. By the way, having some big scoops in gaming as of late. So if you guys do trust them as a source, other information pertaining to this, uh, potentially leading to the fact that FaZe Clan has actually received a loan of one to two million dollars from the Paycheck Protection Program, which uh, is causing a lot of questions to be asked. Is FaZe Clan struggling for cash with the loans they have taken on so far this year? Year, or are they taking advantage of a system for a cheap and maybe potentially fully forgiven loan out there? Now, in that same article, guys, brought to us by Hollywood Reporter, also pointed out by the U.S. Department of Treasury. If you guys go to their website, search by state as well, also shown is FaZe Clan potentially receiving this one to two million dollar loan from a protection program ranging of six hundred and sixty nine billion dollars, some of which will be forgiven. I cannot guarantee that FaZe Clans will be at the very least, though, a very very cheap and low APR loan that FaZe Clan is taking on, which has to make you, at the very least, wonder why. I'm not saying FaZe Clan is broke, I'm just saying they're either maybe strapped for some cash out there, or potentially taking advantage of a system which other companies and potentially other esports organizations are doing that just is not public information as of right now according to the Hollywood Reporter article as they do cite in the world of esports with some god awful atrocious spelling of the word esports FaZe Clan received a loan worth one to two million dollars they also further state the loan program of 669 billion dollars was established to help cash strap businesses make payroll now, obviously, FaZe Clan is no small business. Are they cash strapped? I have no idea, but that is what this protection program is actually enabled to try and help out these companies with. Other sources already citing there are many companies out there besides just FaZe Clan to get that out there, guys, that are certainly not small businesses and likely taking advantage of this very, very cheap loan. Now, I bring this up to date because earlier this year, we saw FaZe Clan take out another very big loan of 20 plus million dollars. The ongoing Tfue or Turner or Tenny lawsuits, those could prove to be costly if they do lose those lawsuits. And, and then you add in all the other thing of running a business like FaZe Clan, obviously very, very expensive. And so it, it does make you wonder, maybe, maybe cash is low. You take away from all that, of course, Call of Duty franchise. They had that partnership down there in Atlanta to help pay that franchise fee. It was not paid all up front by FaZe Clan. By the way, the only organization to somehow realize that was an option, but still an expensive option at that to even pay a portion of that franchise fee. Maybe, maybe that's part of it. But yes, paying the payroll and paying the salaries of the entire organization, that can't be cheap either. So they've already taken loans in the past, take another loan here. Alongside that, ongoing lawsuits and the cost of operation cannot be cheap. It does just make you ask the question, is FaZe Clan struggling for cash or are they taking advantage of a system that many other businesses are likely doing? I understand you guys as viewers. I'm not really one to, uh, to, to judge too much on this. I don't know what I would do if I was in FaZe Clan's shoes. If I was operating such an expensive business to do so and an opportunity came in front of me of a potential forgiven loan of one to two million dollars, which means not paying it back or even at that, a very, very low rated loan, I, I, might, I might do the same thing, you know? And so I, I really can't judge on that. I know you guys will probably fall on the two sides of the coins when it comes to this. Either very, very smart from FaZe Clan, or some might say scummy of FaZe Clan. That's not for me to say. What do you guys think about this? Is FaZe Clan struggling or taking advantage? Until next time, you take care of yourselves, okay? I hope you guys really are. I'm trying my best to do so. I might get some sun today. Until next time, take care. Drink that water. Drink that coffee. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.